afternoon to your second helping of action from the England Rugby cameras in Gloucestershire this afternoon. We switch our attention from Green King IPA Championship to the Tyrrells Premier 15s. It's a repeat of one of last season's semi-finals as Gloucester Heartbreak welcome Saracens. Both going well again this year. The champion Saris sits seven points clear at the top of the bar while Gloucester just a point outside the playoff spaces in fifth going into the weekend. I think a win here, a huge boost in that challenge. We're live streaming from round 15 on Premier15s.com and the England Rugby Facebook and YouTube pages. Let's have a look at what's happened so far this afternoon. The early kickoff uh, today, Loughborough Lightning, huge boost to their top three ambitions. So they've temporarily gone, of course, above Harlequins ladies who are currently beating Richmond women. I'll bring you that result uh, later today, but a massive bonus point win for Loughborough Lightning against Furwood Waterloo ladies. And another bonus point win as well. So Was FC ladies, a bonus point win over DMP Sharks. So a win for Gloucester Harbury today. Even a bonus point win would still leave them just a point off fourth place. We'll give you those three o'clock kickoffs. Harlequins ladies and Bristol Bears women, as I said, throughout the afternoon when we get them. So this is what uh, that table looks like. Saracens women still sitting pretty at the top of the pile. Five points difference between Loughborough Lightning, as I mentioned. Harlequins at the moment, as I said, will bring you that full-time score between Richmond. But those top three looking very well set for the playoffs. And Wasps and Gloucester Hartbury looking like now the two which will battle it out for that fourth place in the semi-final game. Just as we await the two teams here alongside me for the game, is uh, Saracens player Marley Packer. Uh, Marley, um, obviously disappointing in terms of not being out there on the pitch, but you're looking forward to, to commentating this afternoon on uh, one or two of your, your friends and colleagues? Yeah, definitely. Um, and getting to watch them play, um, I think it's going to be a really exciting but a test um, game for Saracens today. Gloucester Hartbury's back line is pretty solid. Um, likes of Kelly Smith, uh, league top try scorer uh, she's got some gas on her so and she can definitely uh, finish those tries so we spoke about it before the game but I was at the game commentating on your match last week and and Harlequins looked so well set for that win um, as the two teams come out here at uh, the Hartbury Stadium and um, we'll get the action in just a second but just a, a reflection back on that week because it it must have done so much for the club that that 16 point deficit Harlequins looked so in control and for the last 10 or 15 minutes you absolutely blitzed them Oh yeah, and, and I think that it, and it's that willing desire to, to play to, to that final whistle. Um, uh, we, d we dug deep. Um, we said at half time we wanted to, we needed tempo, um, and the the subs came off the bench and they did that for us. And uh, and I think you can see that today. Um, I see the starting lineup today. We, we've got some changes with Nina in a, at 12. Um, we've got uh, Eloise in at nine. So and they were they were bench players for us last week. So it just shows that they've been rewarded on how they they came on and, and changed the game for us. So let's get a look at the two teams as they run out here. Gloucester Hartbury uh, starting off with without captain Zoe Oldcroft and props Sasha Aitchison through injury. They are those boosted by the return of fitness of Tatiana Hurd, Shona Paul, ha uh, Shona Paul Hughes. Second row partnership of El Febre and Charlotte Foe, a new one, while Wells' Dudgy Howell comes in at fullback. A potent looking back three, along with, of course, Kelly Smith, who we mentioned there. 22 tries so far for her this season. Saracens, without big three names, one of them right next to me will be hearing from throughout the afternoon. Marley Packer, Vicky Fleetwood and Poppy Cleal all out through injury. Kay Cersei into the back row, Ellie Gatlin and May Campbell into the pack. And also those players that uh, Marley just mentioned, Eloise Hayward, Nina Visterson and wing Sydney Gregson. All huge impacts last week. They're awarded with starting places. Gloucester Hartbury, a youthful looking bench. Saracens women got some real experience in the backs. Georgie Gulliver, Lauren Cattell and Georgie Lingham. I'm sure when they come on, they will very much add to the side. Couple of bounces of the ball for Natasha Hunt. Big arrival back at Gloucester Hartbury. She's had a fantastic return as well. Second start since joining the club. Sarri's but attacking to start it up. Hunt gives it out to this uh, near side and will trundle along for Charlotte Foe. With a slightly changed strip for Gloucester in the black shorts. Matching up today, Kerry Lard first touch of the ball for the fly half. Bit of a scramble and then Sarri's doing really well to bounce on that and get their hands on it for the first time. Hayward looks uh, left and right. First couple of carries and a forward pass in there from Sarri's and first scrum down. And In terms of uh, a back row, obviously you know very well uh, Marley, the, the line-up, Copson, youngster from Gloucester Hartbury, but Sean Williams and Powell Hughes, a real experience in that Gloucester Hartbury back three. Oh yeah, definitely. And they come from both from a sevens background as well, so... Um, 
they're, they're, they're quick off the mark. They love to carry the ball. Um, Sean, she's got great hands. Shauna Powell, she, she, she likes to carry hard. And we, we've had a few encounters there, so uh, yeah. Here we go then for Gloucester Hartbury one for the last five games in the league coming into this one. A little bit of confusion there between the eight and the no then. Large on the ball, lovely flighted pass, Tatiana Hearn with a straight line, streaking towards the try line in the opening minute, she spills away, dives over the line, wonderful try from Tatiana Hurd. hit the line of Kerry Large, first breakaway of the game, and that international quality from Hurd. look for a second like she might get caught, but what a start for Gloucester Hartbury, taking the lead here in the first couple of minutes, big smiles all round from the home side. And what a line, you've got to say, Marley Packer from <laughs> Tatiana. Yeah, great line. It's, it's great to see her back um, playing today. Um, yeah, and great finish from her. Lining this one up then is the... First kick of the game then, Ellie Underwood. Right footed strike. Nails it inside the post and a really good start then for Gloucester Harpery. Seven points to nil up in the Thank you. What can we say? opening stages. Exactly. Restart for Saris. And a bottom and just uh, spinning it to England teammates. Zoe Harrison looking for a response here immediately. Sarries, deep kick from Harrison. That's gone all the way, I think, into touch. Yes, it has. So, not the usual settled start from Saracens that uh, we're used to. Another scrum down for Gloucester. And that, I mentioned it before, Marley, the, the back line is really, I think, where Gloucester Hartbury will try and attack Saris today do you feel because that is where all the potency lies where all their tries come from and and there's some some real stars in that back line for for the home team yeah definitely but I, I think for Saracens we, we, we need to just get like ball in hand and keep the ball in hand at the moment uh, Gloucester seem to be dominating us um, as in keeping the ball possession I think we just um, did an error compounded on another error obviously with the restart um, but it's still, we're only three minutes into the game and look at Saracens last week, <laughs> give us 10 minutes left and, and we can ch completely change the game. So um, we just need to settle now. Um, obviously we've got the changes, so we just need to settle. But at the back of that scrum again between uh, Mo, um, the ball got a bit of a fumble, so they need to sort out that as well. I have to do pretty well, they're under some pressure. As Marley says, so no panic from Saracens here opening stages. 19 wins after their last 20 games in all the Premier 15's matches so certainly the most dominant side in the country over the last season and a half culminating in that victory over Harlequins at Ealing Trail Finals in the final last season not a ball though in the opening stages for Gloucester Hartbury and we were just stepping inside up to the halfway line now advantage penalty advantage yeah Nicky O'Donnell saying there's a penalty advantage here for Gloucester Harbury, so what can they do with it? And Natasha Hunt speaking on a, uh, a podcast not too long ago that she was uh, blowing a bit from the exertions from 15 aside rugby, despite that spell in sevens, the, the different fitness you need getting to the bait of the ruck every time, but been a bright start from her as she certainly settles into her new club. Kerry Large then looking to touch. We'll have the first line out of the game. Decent nudge. Cheers. Your initial position is good. When you lose your feet, you're out of the A look at the form of uh, Gloucester Hartbury. A lot of W's, of course, in that pile. Big win. Bonus points in the past two games over Worcester and Furwood Waterloo. It's around the bottom of the table, those two. but. They've got to be put away, so they're a oh, team in form, but a really good steal there, as Marley says, right at the front. Big lead, big grab, and they've got themselves a driving more. Hannah Bottoman right at the heart of this one. Forward it goes, you can hear the cries of drive forward, looping pass into Bryony, not Poppy Cleal. A bit of trouble with the 18 and 8 shirt last week. 
<laughs> was chastised by Poppy when I saw her midweek in England camp, saying, can you not tell the difference between us? And I said, no, you're both identical twins. It was quite hard. Yeah. Only one clear on the pitch this week. Bit of a fumble out the back there by Hayward and Gloucester Heartbreak. Now managed to get on the ball. But there's a knock on there, as you can hear. And referee Nicky O'Donnell. So it'll be a scrum to Saris, and here is, uh, well, a big column of Ws. That's how impressive Saracens have been recently. And look at all those noughts as well in defence. Buster Hartbury will be delighted that they have got on the board. Not quite yet. Bit of disruption in the back of that scrum there. Scrum. Back there, ladies. Scrum to Sarri said. Eloise Hayward, the 19 year old, spent some time here at Costa Harbury actually. 11th appearance of the season for the former. England under 18 international. Set. And the ball goes. Whip back Stay on seven. to the feet of Bryony Cleal. Yes. Natasha Hunt trying to be a nuisance at the back and comes through on Hayward. Knock on by nine. And the referee has stopped the game. Real disruption there at the back of the Saracens pack. And as someone who is regularly in that pack, Marley, I'm, I'm guessing that was uh, harsh viewing. Yeah, definitely, but I think uh, Natasha, she, she's playing the game really well. She's talking to the ref at the back of the scrum. She's putting loads of pressure on Bryony and Eloise there. So um, it's great work by her, and she's won on the ball back, and they're just outside uh, our 22, so we need to win it back in this scrum. Put into the scrum then. Natasha Hunt hands on the ball. Back in the feet, it just pops out, and Natasha Hunt fancies a dart looping pass to the far side, looking for Ellie Underwood. Just unable to grab hold of the ball, but a real live wire start so far from from Mo Hunt, Marley. Black. Yeah, Black. she just she just brings everything. So the picker, the pick the there, she, she's got the, the turn of pace and um, to carry. Obviously the pass, then um, Ellie can get her hands on it and went into touch. But um, she just brings everything. She's she's an all-round ball player, um, and she's a right nuisance at, at the back of the scrum when. Uh, Saris do have the ball. A real battle, of course, with Leanne Riley for that England number nine shirt coming into the Six Nations. Stolen by Gloucester Hartbury then, so... Let's <laughs> Go on. So, sorry, I've been a fan as well as a commentator today, so... Let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> you can't, uh, can't take the Saris out of Marley Packer alongside you for commentary here on the Premier15s.com website as well as England Rugby Facebook and YouTube. Gloucester Hartbury working it through the hands. Out to this far side, Kelly Smith, the danger player, steps through a couple of Sarri's players finds a gap in that line. Now presents 22 tries. Four last week for Kelly Smith. On the edge of the 22 now. Good carry there by Febre. Tasha Hunt just knocked off the ball as she got to the back of the ruck and now she's got some defensive work to do. That's a great uh, counter ruck by Bryony Cleal there. Um, Giving her shove back. A turnover and, and I think this is a danger of us. We're, we're, we're playing from anywhere and coming out of the 22 then. Good pick uh, and go by Casey. Now Harrison spots some space in behind Gloucester Hartbury and a really, really good kick there just from Zoe the Harrison. Pressure. Just relieves the pressure from us. Uh, I think we played too much in our own half and especially quite close to that 22. So Bryony did great work to turn it over at the breakdown in and uh, Zoe did the right option by making the kick to touch. Gloucester Hartbury just steadying themselves again. Connie Powell trying to find the mark this time. Bit of a drive the towel. The, uh, if you're just joining us here, this is the second of two games taking place at the Hartbury College Sports Stadium. So the pitch has um, got a few battle scars from Hartbury's loss to Doncaster. Good challenge in the air from both jumpers, but Saracens come away with the ball. Haywood at the back, looking for Harrison to the line. Gives it off to Bryony Cleal. Two players it takes to bring it down. Looking for a quick ball here, Saris. First meaningful attack. First time they've gone through a few phases. Is Visterson helps it on. Here's McKenna into the line. Penalty advantage. 
Marcus are happy driving off the ball. Bit of a mess at breakdown time, but Saris get themselves a penalty. Harrison coming over to the mark. Not ruling for. And looks straight to touch and a chance for Saris to get it into touch and then get this driving more, which became such a weapon throughout the season and really clicked into gear against Harlequins. Let's have a look at back at that uh, first try from Tatiana Hurd. Mo Hunt giving it to Kerry Large and Marley, what a line this was from the England centre. Absolutely phenomenal. So done. Good pace as well because Zoe Harrison trying to chase her back and try and get the tap tackle but did really well to pull away and place the ball down. Thank you. Okay. Nate six changes with her hands on the ball towards Rosie Galligan. Again, Gloucester Hartbury disrupting it. Neither side really able to get hold of the ball. Mo Hunt's attempted clearance was blocked. Now we'll Gloucester carry back over the line there, Gloucester Hartbury. The three says yes. And well, those line outs from both sides just not quite clicking at the moment. No, and uh, especially from Saracens, like there, that, that's that's the area of the park that um, those kind of mistakes we don't like to make and we don't make them. So, but obviously we've got the scrum down here now, so uh, See hopefully we can make, make up from that. Big patch of uh, cut up grass there from, as I mentioned, the early championship games. I'm sure the referee will take that into account any time we go to scrum time. Really good attacking platform here for Saracens. The pack have got themselves a total of 48 tries so far this season. I'm sure Brian and Cleo at the back are we looking at this. Just edging towards the line at the moment. Good solid scrum. A couple of shoves here is Cleo. Pick and go. Place down. He's got a bit of work to do to secure the ball. Goes to Hartbury. Disrupting it well, the Cherry and Whites. Towards the line. Sarri's go. go again from Saracens that was a good drive good power behind it and a bottom and now sniping looking left and right instead goes for the pass option the defense at the moment from the home shirts in red ball being worked back slowly it's with Brian clear only one option here big drive from the number eight but also good tackling there from Gloucester Hartbury. Just forced her back after she took contact. Here is Harrison. What can the backs produce? Lovely line coming back in from captain Lottie Clapp. Right under the shadow of the post in the floodlights. Harrison again trying to get the back line going. Long looping pass. Really good pass as well. And a stroll in for Sarah McKenna. Saracens level it up with one try apiece. And all the hard work by the forwards in the left-hand corner. Zoe Harrison with the spin ball to the right. And McKenna with an easy stroll into the corner. Great try by McKenna then. The uh, the pass was quite loopy over to her, but um, it got there. Cheers, Steve. Mo was unlucky here. I, th I think she she had good hands on the ball, um, but it was a great clear. And look at that spin pass. Great technique by Zoe Harrison. McKenna in for her fifth try of the season. Sarri's right back in the game as well from that excellent start and try by Tatiana Hurd and taking a bit of mud off her boots here Zoe Harrison thanks lining this one up is Zoe Harrison Trying to curl it back round, Zoe Harrison, and the flags go up. A brilliant kick by the Saracens fly half. That was really difficult. You could see from that camera angle the swing from left to right as it came back in. As we take another look at Sarah McKenna, fantastic pass by Harrison, and just the loop over the top as well, which just got McKenna around on the outside. Absolutely fabulous uh, a kick then by Sarah Harrison. And after last week, uh, we told her to take the full minute on that last uh, on that last kick, and uh, we've told her from now on she needs to do that because uh, she got that, and it was a, a phenomenal kick then as well. Full square here then in the round 15 game, the Hartbury College Sports Stadium. Been a very grey day in the West Country, but uh, the flag.
floodlights on. It's been a fantastic opening 15 minutes from these two sides. Option. Quite got the distance there from the restart. Kelly Smith grabbing option. the ball, so Saracens with the option. Thank you. Okay, ladies, we'll move this way slightly. Okay, not ten. Scrum option. They opt to go for the scrum. There was a development game between these two sides on the 4G pitch just behind. Saracens were winning last time I checked, Marley. Did you, have you heard about the score in the development game? No, they were winning last time I checked. Uh, I haven't got the final score, so... But I'd like to say Saracens won. <laughs> of course you would. <laughs> the voice of Marley Packer with you. Keir <laughs> Donald not just too happy with how that scrum is set. Go, go, go. Four England players in the England squad for Gloucester Hartbury with the addition of Natasha Hunt, Kelly Smith, of course, we've mentioned, Tatiana Hurd, the try scorer, and Zoe Oldcroft, out injured today in a protective boot, hoping to play some part in the Six Nations. Good initial shove from that scrum. By Gloucester Hartbury, but an excellent response by Saracens. And Bryony just keeping things tight and also very calm at the back of that scrum. Using her feet. Both her and Hannah Bottom are a feature of if you can't spot them from their mannerisms and the way they play, the socks rolled down. All action performances as Kerry Large just getting some instructions. Mo Hunt as well, just feeding one or two lines to a back line. If you could just constantly hear Mo talking all the time to a back line, to a forward, even to the referee, but just being smart. Um, and, and that's what I love to play alongside Mo. And obviously I love to play against her as well, and unfortunately I don't get to do that today. And a bit of disruption at the scrum from Gloucester Hartbury. And the penalty coming the home side's way. And a bit of chat back as well from Saracens mean there'll be another 10 metres added to this penalty and they're now on the 10 metre line dead centre of the pitch I think I heard the referee say number one yeah. Hannah Bottomen there yeah that was Hannah Bottomen she said out and around so to me I think that's standing up in a scrum and stepping around but what do I know <laughs> more than many of us so the intricacies of the front row the dark Saracen, arts and Hannah Bottomen penalised there not too happy at it had a sit down with her in midweek for the England rugby cameras and asked her to describe her style of play. She said confrontational, aggressive. I think that's uh, how she always plays the game. She's um, very much in the referee's ear as close to Hartbury's penalty count totting up at the moment. <laughs> Big smile from Mo Hunt down, uh, not too far away from us in our commentary position here because I think a few Saracens players were perhaps, I'd suggest, making sure the ball came with them as they trotted back 10 metres. but. Still the penalty for the hosts. Kerry Large with a really, really good touch finder there. And Lossa Hartbury will have themselves a line out. Six metres away from the try line. Saris have done really well spoiling. Lossa Hartbury ball. Let's come to line out time. Just a word there with Captain Lottie Clapp as well from the referee. Just reminding her. And therefore a player's the responsibilities. Gloucester Hartbury again unable to take it in the middle of the line. And again, Saracen still really good defensive work by the Saris forwards in that line out. It's fantastic to see that the, the line outs are so so contested. Obviously up in the air we got Saracen's got Danny for um, touching in the air, but I think it is such a competitive bit of the game today. And you've seen it, it's been it's been a turnout over time. Oh that's a phenomenal tackle there by Hannah Casey, wasn't yeah, it, Hannah lining Casey. her up? You can't even remember your own no, teammates. No, no, we called a chopper, so why should get off? <laughs> well, she certainly chopped them down as the kick through here from Saracens. Gloucester Harbury coming back with Underwood. Stands up, Smith in there trying to help her out. and Good work there, in fact, by Underwood. She did really well from a difficult position. Hunt. So this blind side, cutting back in is Millie Wood. Strong run. Strong tackle on her, though. By the open side for today, Lauren Newman. They just stopped. I think Laura Newman just felt that tackle. Big frame of Millie Woods. She's spent a couple of years in sevens and certainly a, a strong, powerful runner in that outside centre channel. And Newman felt the whole force of that there, just being checked over. 
No Hunt coming to uh, get the ball. Some, some controversy over the uh, the scrunchie, isn't there, I think, around <laughs> Natasha Hunt, is there, because she thinks she's still young enough to pull it off, but one or two maybe don't. Is that right, Marley? Yeah, I'm not too sure about the scrunchie. Um, it's a new in thing with the girls at the moment. So uh, last week I also uh, I lost my hair bad and I needed one, but three of the girls said, oh, I have my scrunchie. I was like, no, I'm not wearing that. <laughs> but Mo says it brings out her eyes, so she goes for a blue. But blue scrunchie, you know, blue eyes. Yeah, not too sure. <laughs> I won't comment. You can uh, comment all you want. <laughs> Time off here. Just uh, as 20. Newman receives some treatment. Yeah. Happy to continue, Seven? Yeah. Happy? Okay. Ladies, time's on. Mind a couple of uh, live streams coming up for you. Red scrum. Be the cameras will travel to Worth Ladies next Not week ready. against Harlequins. Another top yeah. four clash for you from the England rugby cameras. And a bit of a break for the Six Nations. Tyrrell's Premier 15's action just shuts down for a couple of months. Allows the likes of Marley and the other England players to have the best preparation for England's campaign over seven weeks. And then we return a couple of rounds and then straight into the semi-final playoffs. Put into the scrum by Gloucester Hartbury. Very large, looking for Hurd again, and again she breaks the line, excellent from the inside centre, now looks for the pass, but good returning work there by Lottie Clapp, hands on the ball, read the play, stopped a very, very dangerous Gloucester Hartbury situation. Yeah. Tati Hurd on fire today, she wants to run lines from everywhere. Strong running from the inside centre. Not ruling, four. Going away then, the tackle Gloucester Hartbury and a penalty coming Saracen's way. Still very much a new club, of course, Gloucester Hartbury, only formed in 2014 and one of those chosen for the 10 Tyrrells Premier 15s franchises. Really good first season, a couple of additions, like to, as we've spoken about already, Mo Hunt and Millie Wood. International class added to. There was a real sporting excellence centre here, the amount of England players of past and present that have spent a bit of time here coaches as well ladies time off as you walk in you see them all at the walls the likes of alex matthews Keep abby brown lens in, ladies. um they've all they've all been here obviously millie so yeah it looks like a fantastic the physio, the facilities for the girls oh, and it, that there's as you drive down yeah, the drive you see rugby pitches everywhere and 4g's and Just everything that lens. as a rugby player you want to see when you're coming into a facility like this Incredible setup. It's out right out in the West Country, and you just turn down what is essentially a country lane, and you come into this incredible sporting facility of 4G pitches and a whole range of sports. And the other thing I really like about the place, sure? they allow dogs here. <laughs> so you see them a little walking around everywhere. There was quite a few in the uh, the championship game earlier, and uh, we're trying to spot uh, one or two if we can on the cameras for you. And okay, we're. Uh, on the far side of the field, just be behind some of our main cameras, the dogs being walked, but um, they might have gone inside just to warm up a bit. Thank you. Hopefully we'll see some in the second half. Seven all here, round 15 of the Premier 15. Again, the line are not quite going to plan, but Saracens. Brian Cleo's on the ball and you ain't stopping her when she, uh, she's on it like that. Making the best of a bad situation. Good bump there. So the Saracens, May Campbell the hooker, doing really well. Hayward for Harrison, runners. All outside, a ball just behind, gathered by Newman. A couple of juggles of the ball and places it back to her own side. Thanks, ladies. Knock on. Yeah. Three spots uh, and knock on in there. And just for a second, with the pass from Harrison, we spoke about how good it was for the McKenna try, but there, just with, with runners, just unable to find the right one and Gloucester back in possession. The scrum down here then. And the red shirts certainly held their own. Good drive here by Powell Hughes, the Wales number eight. Back to Fine, Mo Hunt you. under pressure. Real good connection on that, but it bounces kindly for McKenna, the try scorer. She bursts through the line. She's got Lottie Clapp outside her ops for the kick. And unfortunately for McKenna, straight out. And we'll come back from where she struck the ball. Really good break of the line here 
out by McKenna, returning this kick from That's Mohan, really just showing what you can do with ball in hand. And you can see the plan, Marley. It was just to try and get a, a kick for them both to be able to chase as we see a burst through, but just un unable to execute. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's just unfortunate. Just think it was connection with the ball, but the right idea. And um, I'm Thank sure you. with McKenna, should do it again and should pull it off. So carry forward there by El Fredbury for Costa Harbour here. Tatiana Heard, lots of ball in hand for her so far. Kelly Smith on the danger players, really good offload as well. Spins and twists is Dudki Howell, the Wales fullback. She did give to keep the ball in there for Costa Harbour. Large, just really orchestrates things from number 10 for the home side. Hunting that blue scrunchie as mentioned before. Kick this time, well taken by Clap. just steps away from one with a brilliant set from Clap. now back inside, just switches the ball between arms as well. Superb run this from the Saracens captain before a combination of Large and Hunt managed to bring her down. Hunt just seems to be all over the place, stop, making stop, tackles, stop, stop, everything. Stop, stop, stop. Kick over the top and a very clever weighted kick at just the wrong side of the post from a Saracens point of view. Let's have a look at that run from Lottie Clapp as well, superb step here. And then another one as well. Switch your hands, that's it. Uh, any back you want to see in that, Marley? You kind of switch of the hands a step, perfect execution. Yeah. So final score, bonus point win for Harlequins ladies, bouncing back from that last minute defeat to Saracens. So they remain right on the tail. They go back into second place following Loughborough Lightning's bonus point win. Earlier on today, they beat third Waterloo ladies 76 points to eight. Hunt up to large. Here is Heard back inside to Wood. A couple of Sarri's players just managing to bring the outside centre down. Here's Heard again. You see, see what the she's trying to do? She's trying to keep the ball alive. So in that tackle, then she was looking to put the ball through. So it's really good by Tati Heard. Haywood to. Bryony Cleal, chop low down there, it's the way to bring her down. Even now down the blind side. Vistason, a number of positions along the back line, just getting caught up a bit there. Bit of a mess, but the Costa Hartbury hands in there, knocking the ball on, so we'll have another Saracen scrum. A bit of a, I don't know what you think, Marley, a bit of a kind of stop-start game so far. Lots of scrums, lots of line-outs, no real uh, flow from, from either side, really. No, and then even when it does go to the line-out, um, I, I, we put so much pressure on each other, the ball's getting turned over. Um, for, for Saracens, we're just not working hard enough on the floor when we have got the ball, and, and we're, not, we're not looking after the ball, giving it the respect it deserves. Um, Gloucester, when they're on the ball, they look dangerous. Um, they've just got to pick, pick the, the right line to get through us. Uh, Lauren Newman's put some great tackles in so far. Um, she just gets her body in the way, so may, they might not be your, 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 your chop tackles, but she gets her body straight in the way, so you, you, you might go to run through her, but you're definitely going to get Do you get down. something of her? Yeah, you're definitely going to get brought down, so she, she's got no fear. Gallagher acting scrum half there for Cleo. Ball is available. Ball is available. He would now coming in. Pisterson as the acting fly path. Here is Bottom. I haven't seen too much ball in hand for the Saracens prop yet. Harrison oh, looking for runners. Line. McKenna again hits the line. Beautiful line, beautiful step. Second try of the afternoon for Sarah McKenna. Fantastic play from the Saris fullback showing international class there. Beautiful line, beautiful step. Saris take the lead for the first time in the game. Yeah, just great timing of that line, and then just to make it a little bit harder for Surrey Harrison, she just scores it just a little bit outside of her first try, so, you know, hopefully Surrey takes the full minute and gets it. The blowing there from Sarah McKenna, Thanks I think uh, the work off the ball, she's been working very hard. Let's have another look at this and just see this line from <laughs> McKenna. Look at that, you can see the arms pumping as she just wants to hit the line. And that step as well, giving Howe no chance at all. Wonderful finish for a sixth try of the season. And I think then as the defence is lining up, they're all uh, marking on uh, Hannah Chopper, so um, as, as they're, and then Sarah just took that inside line.
Beautiful strike for the first one from the tee for Zoe Harrison. Harrison with the kick again. She's got good direction on this. And up go the yellow flags. Two from two for the Saracens fly half. Two pretty, pretty difficult chances at goal. But an aspect you see are working on Marley, the kicking tee, extra practice. Yeah, d yeah, we do. Um, and obviously now uh, we've got the full-time contract. So at Allianz Park, she's, she's been there doing her, doing her kicking practice. So it's good to see that we're getting those extra points on, on, on a Saturday. And then, of course, she's got... Uh, a couple of assists as well today, as well as those two conversions. Both passes from her to set up McKenna for Saracens. Two tries. 14-7, they lead now. Ten minutes to go until half-time. Bit of a handling error there. And Gloucester Hartbury the chance to immediately get themselves some time on the ball. So it's a great take by Sarah McKenna then. Um, ships it, and I just think we just need to carry there. Um, we've got the support, but obviously we're just putting the pressure on ourselves. It, it, and this is what we did uh, last week. Um, instead, we just needed to relieve the pressure off of us then, but instead we put it on us. Yeah, five games since the start of last season between these two. Gloucester Harbury did draw 29 all at Allianz Park. Nearly game this season, a 48-24 win for Saris. Straight in from Natasha Hunt. Keen to get on with things. You can hear those screams of let's go on our ref mic. Large looking for Hurd. Again looking to try and burst through. Again looking for the offload. Gets you the first tackle. Second one gives it off to Millie Wood. Within striking range, the home side looking for the re response. Kelly Smith, bright and alert there. Thought about the pass out, instead takes contact. Places it down. Hunt has a look up. Hops to go to the right-hand side. Big carry there from Emily Underwood. Hunt gives it to the other prop. Katie Dugan here driving towards the line. Dead centre of the pitch. Hunt again, good quick ball for Large. Looking to try and work it through the hands. Heard, simple pass out. And Gloucester Harbury with their second try. And it is Dovkey Howell who goes over the fullback. Great play from the forwards there on the left. Quick hands from Mohunt, spinning the ball to the right, worked it down the line. And the fullback just strolls over. Gloucester Harbury 12, Saracens 14. We spoke about this backline, Marley, but this, the hands here, very impressive. Yeah, this is exactly it. Um, Open. Saracens have brought this on themselves, but you can't take it away from great hands. A great finish there by the 15. Dudgy Howe, the Welsh international fullback, a player who has three D's in the opening four letters of her name. Very difficult Welsh pronunciation as Underwood. Well, the kicking today, certainly on point. Ellie Underwood, two from two, matches Zoe Harrison, and that matches the score, 14 all in this topsy-turvy game. as another replay of the hands from Hurd, the hands from Large. Great work from Tatiana Hurd, who's caused Saracens all sorts of problems, and Dudgy Howell going over. Restart from Harrison, well taken. Too long to go till half time. Big crashing run here from Powell Hughes. All upright, all arms and legs. Very difficult to tackle, and she got a good offload as well. Hunt now. Just adds a bit of pace to the ball, does Natasha Hunt. Here is Tatiana Hurd again. Good step and really good offload. Millie Wood down the blind side. Bounces off McKenna, now looks for the upload. Here is Mo Hunt, crashing tackle, two players coming in on her. Still the momentum with Gloucester Hartbury. Large, looking to work it. They've got numbers on the right-hand side if they can go in here. The referee has blown a whistle. Just lost the ball at the end there. Thank you. Gloucester Hartbury, that try really seems to have given them some impetus, given them some momentum. 
just keeping the ball alive here. And then even Mo gets Thank tackled you. and Dufky Hughes. Time's back on. Dufky how? How, how? Sorry. Um, just that, that, that's a clear and pass. So, yeah, it's great work, unfortunately. Brian, you just put that big tackle on it, made it go forward. Credit the scrambling Saracens defence there. Coming good in the end. And I've been told, and you can tell me, Marley, if this is true, that Bryony wears 18 because that shirt fits her better than the eight. Is that correct? <laughs> yeah, that's correct. It, the Marathi is not a favourite number, though. So uh, I think the shirt just fits her better. We all have shirt issues. There was some confusion last week as Gloucester Harbury. Nick this scrum from the Saracens put in. Referee has a look. Natasha Hunt goes to Ellie Underwood down this near side. What can she do? Tries to step away from Lottie Clapp. Just managed to scrag a shirt. Steps up and steals another metre on the floor. Hunt goes in. Through comes Campbell. Through comes the Saracens forwards. Great counter ruck as Marley Packer says that. Really good alert defensive work from the women in black. Not a killer the ball. The referee agrees with you, Marley. <laughs> Yeah, we have a sh couple of shirt problems at Saracens. Also, me and uh, Fleeto should rather wear the six shirt than the seven shirt because uh, the seven shirt might be on the larger side for me. <laughs> but yeah, that was great work. Great in the counter counter ruck there through Saracens. And uh, the ref said it was all OK. And then uh, we got the penalty through the hard work. So that's what we need to be doing. And then we need to be keeping uh, the ball at that end of the pitch. This is just a replay of it. Ellie Underwood there placing it down. Natasha Hunt thought she'd be able to get the ball out but Saracens completely legally coming through I'm not too sure how legally it was but the referee said it was legal Marley it's, it's legal it's legal so uh, let's see what this lineup brings for us not been an area of the game which either side has really excelled in line out time no and I've also just picked up that um, Chrissy is on and so the Saracens 19 so I'm not sure I think Lauren Newman might have gone off here so, change of options at the line out. Good spot there by Marley Packer. Number 19 on oh, Hayward. Out to Harrison. Runners to her right. One of those is Bryony Cleal. Such a willing ball carrier throughout 80 minutes of rugby. Harrison looking for Vistas and oh, really to take it by Casey. She's juggling with it round her back. Can she find the offload? No, does well to hold on to it. Picks up, goes again. Saracens here with the fragmented Gloucester Harbury defence. Harrison with the kick through. Looking for the two outside runners. Just and able to wait it for them but what a line from Hannah Casey and what hands as well to carry the ball probably a good 10 or 15 minutes with uh, 10 or 15 minutes 10 or 15 meters with the ball almost behind her yeah uh, and I think you know, I think we talked a lot today about Gloucester Hartbury's backline but actually Saracen's backline seemed to be just waking up and uh, like they're, they're, they're on fire and, and that ball was great and carrying it behind your back like that some skill incredible bit of skill there from the Irish centre Hannah Casey Saracens have just won another line out, so to them. Thank you. The initial one. What happened there? The initial one, but Saracens have won it back. So I would have thought we're going to go for a, a driving line out here. Yes. Here we go then from May Campbell. The two pods set up from Saracens. Gloucester Hart, we get their hands on it, but it comes back Saracens way. Five metres out, they have the ball on the far touch line. It can go from Ellie Gatlin. Oh, loses the ball on the floor. Last forward. It was knocked on in the line out first by Red. And then we'll go back for the initial black. knock on in the line. Two knock ons. Black scrum. Scrum down. Lines him off, ladies. Saracen's ball. Still a really good attacking platform. Last few minutes of this first half here in the West Country. Really entertaining game. Two tries apiece. <laughs> Sarah McKenna with two for Saracens and Tatiana Hurd. No, no, she's there. As much as I want to see Saracens score here, it'd be great to go in at half time, 14 14, and make the second half a, a, a real cracking game to watch, I think. Good drive back from Gloucester Hartbury here, and Saracens struggling to get the ball back to Bryony Cleal. Big shout from the referee from Use It and also a big shout from Marley Packer to Use It. Saracen's <laughs> picking, going towards the try line here, looking for a third score. Marley had that third try right on the stroke of half time. Bryony Clear with the power there, helped by a couple of teammates. All power from the Saracen's pack and they take the lead again just before half time. 12th try of the season for Bryony Clear. 
a little shake to the camera. And it's all just about her power, Marley, and, and what she can do, just almost from a standing start, really. And the amount of tacklers, she just managed to wriggle away to the try line. Yeah, definitely. Like, you could hear me say, just use it instead of resetting, because the power of Briny should definitely give us some go forward, and then if we, and then we'll go again. Um, but like the scrum platform's not really giving us the, 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 the set piece that we need at the moment. So uh, I think she definitely made the right option and obviously we got the try from it. 100% so far from the tee, Zoe Harrison. Not too sure what socks Zoe's wearing today either. The, uh, the ankle bits look way above her ankle. <laughs> they're working, whatever they're doing. Yeah, I know, maybe she should wear them every week. <laughs> Harrison then, all these kicks have been from the right so far. And as you know, the easiest one she's had of the afternoon. She just pulls slightly, so it remains 19-14 to the visitors. And here we go again. Bryony Cleal's power right off the base of that scrum. One, two, three, four players coming in. Just unable to spot, and then the swivel at the end. Thank you. Really good try from the Saris, number eight, part of course of the England wider EPS squad. Along with twin Poppy. Really good break from Zoe Harrison, looks back inside for these supporting runners. Copson looping pass to Visterson, really good offloading work this by Saracen, sniffing a fourth and Bonus point try before the break. Hayward, Harrison, ball back inside. Lovely, light, feathered hands there from Harrison. Referee, though, spots an infringement, goes to Harbury's way. And Natasha Hunt, keen to get on with it. Big boot downfield, there's no fullback home at the moment. Great chase by Bottomman and Lottie here. And prop Hannah Bottomman doing the work of a back three player there. Gives it to one of those back three. Clap, taking the ball around the outside, but. Running more sideways and forward. Support coming in now. I was just about to say, I think Saracen's found their groove in getting in behind the defence and in making those offloads that we see so often from us. But uh, Harrison attempted to uh, kick to touch. Penalty given there from the referee. But we seem to be back on our own 22 line again. Offside called from Nicky O'Donnell. I wonder what the coaches are going to be saying at halftime to their teams. Alex Osterbury and Gloucester Hartbury, Susie Appleby. A chance to have some words with uh, both sides in just a couple of minutes. But I think well, for Saracens it'd be about tempo, but actually to look after the ball and uh, keep it. Line out to Saris. Can they get some clean ball? Rosie Gallagher, the usual target when it comes to Saracen's line out, the under 20 England international. Here is May Campbell, loops it into the middle again, just not quite clicking. Saracen's at line out time, advantage on the play to Gloucester Heartbreak. That'll be though the final action of the first half, which Gloucester Heartbreak took the lead in very early Tatiana Heard but two tries from Sarah McKenna one from Bryony Cleal sandwiched between that was Dudke Howell's effort I mean the champions are ahead but only by a score plus the Hartbury winning 14 Saracens women 19 at the break here at the Hartbury College Sports Stadium and a very even first 40 minutes you've got to say Marley Packer yeah, and, and I think that they're both going at each other, but they're, they're not looking after the ball either side, uh, especially at line-out time. Um, both teams are turning it over. Um, Saracens at the end of that first half it seemed to get into their groove a little bit, but then uh, silly mistakes. Um, the, the Gloucester Hartbury managed to get the turnover and then Mo pinned us back down on our own 22. And I think we've just been playing a bit of rugby too much in, in the wrong areas of the field. And I think Alex will go into that half now and, and say, actually, we need to look after the ball, we need tempo, and we need to make our, our tackles. Um, but actually, it, it's actually about not giving stupid penalties away. Right. Let's have a look at that first 40 minutes then. All the action, five tries in all 
in the first half and it all got going just after a couple of minutes in this line and there's still a bit of a uh, bit of light in the in the west country but this we spoke about it at the time it's just it's almost a perfect line for an inside sense off a crash ball isn't it marley yeah yeah and the, there was no read by any of the sarri's defense and uh so he tried to get back there for the tap tackle but it was too late by then big smiles on the faces of the home players mo hunt with the distribution as tatiana heard sprinting towards the line there and going over but it's great to see her back after she's been out for a little while with a little injury so um, to see her back scoring is great Saracens then though responding Sarah McKenna the first of the two tries and this all about the pass from Zoe Harrison almost the perfect spin pass in terms of what she wanted the technique on it and then the loop over the top which just gave Sarah McKenna a bit of space around the outside to cross and dive over back from sevens of course uh, Sarah McKenna versatile player in the centre and fly half but full back today where she's certainly impressed this was the response from Gloucester Harbury Tatiana Hurd turning from try scorer to provider Dudke Howell rounding this one off the Welsh fullback and Again, it's all that pace on the balls from Natasha Hunt. You've spoken about her a lot in this uh, first half, Mo, but how impressive have you been with a, a return to 15s? Because it is a bit of a, from someone who has gone from 7s to 15s and, and you've bounced between the two sports, it is a difficult transition, isn't it? Um, yeah, it definitely is, especially for, for her position. Um, like, obviously, when she's playing a 7, she's in that sweeper role, so she sat down behind... Uh, behind the, the the line of attack um, in 15 she's very much at the forefront of everything she's got to be at that breakdown she's at scrum time like she's constantly um, chat to, to the players um, to, to the referee um, but like she seems to have slipped back into it quite nicely um, I think uh, I'm really looking forward to her seeing her back in a, in a white shirt for the Red Roses uh, this uh, Six Nations but um, She's just a phenomenal all-round player and she just gives the players around her so much confidence because of the way she talks to them. The voice of Marley Packer with you here on England Rugby Facebook and YouTube as well as Premier15s.com. Round 15 action from the West Country. Saracens women leading 19 points to 14 here against Gloucester Heartbreak women. But it was the hosts who managed to take over the Premier 15's Instagram account this week. Uh, Connie Powell was involved in it and taking you behind the scenes. And here is what they got up to. Hi, I'm Rachel Lund. So thank you to Gloucester Harbury Women there taking over the Premier 15's Instagram account. If you go there this afternoon as well, give us a follow at Premier 15's. You'll see some of the best uh, tries and action from the game this afternoon. Lots of content up there throughout the week as well, including the try lights on a Monday morning, which is what we're going to bring you now. All the best action from round 14 of the Tyrrells Premier 15's.
some of the best try lights there from round 14. The round 15 effort will be up early with you next week on all the Premier 15 social channels. Go to Twitter and Instagram. Give them a follow if you like everything to do with top flight women's rugby in England. And speaking of top flight women's rugby, a lot of the players who, of course, playing this competition selected in the first fully professional 15 aside squad Simon Milton the Red Roses head coach was able to pick from for the Six Nations 28 full-time players seven EPS players a 35 player squad in total and of course they're building up to the Six Nations coming up in the next couple of months you know what I mean because I've read my game you can't hold me back it's driving you insane Some of the best action from England women during the last Six Nations there, of course. And you can follow England throughout the Six Nations. Three games for you to see at home this time, starting with the game in France. Going back to Yorkshire, very successful game against Canada there in the November Quilter Internationals. Back at Castle Park, home of the Doncaster Knights, who actually won here in Hartbury this afternoon in the Green King IPA Championship. The Italy game going down to Devon. Sandy Park, home, of course, of Exeter Chiefs. You can buy tickets for the match against Italy there. And Scotland, back to the home of England rugby. After the men's game against Scotland as well, the Red Roses will play Scotland at half past seven the final weekend. Your chance, though, three chances to watch the Red Roses throughout the Six Nations. couple of live streams for you coming up. Those games I just mentioned there with the Red Roses. Tickets available at englandrugby.com slash tickets. Also the Gallagher Premiership Clash, Bristol Bears against Bath and the Tyrrells Premier 15's final, selling really well. This place, uh, this year, sorry, taking place at Franklin's Gardens, the home of Northampton Saints moving on from Ealing Trail Finders. Tickets available for all those matches, englandrugby.com slash tickets. Still gives me goosebumps every time I watch that promo video for England. <laughs> Doing the good job then, England rugby yeah. picking up the, uh, the <laughs> women. And uh, speaking of England rugby here, a couple of our live streams coming up. We're at uh, Wasps next week, as I mentioned a bit earlier on. Top four clash between Wasps ladies and Harlequins ladies. Both winners this afternoon in round 15. Then some schools cup action, under 18 and under 15 as well, taking over a place uh, a couple of weekends in March. All of these available on englandrugby.com's YouTube and Facebook pages. Back to the tools, Premier 15s. After the uh, the break for the Six Nations, Harlequins ladies against Gloucester Hartbury women, and then both semi-finals. Whoever ends up in the top four semi-final playoff places, both of those games will be live. And then, of course, the, the final at Franklin's Gardens. And then a final offering for you in May, the under-18 and under-15 girls club games. And the RFU club and under-20s finals day at Six Ways and Twickenham Stadium. So we, uh, the two teams coming uh, back out here at the Harbury College Sports Stadium. <laughs> Almost uh, nearly bumping into each other as they uh, came out there. Kerry Large, captain today. Augusta Harbury women in the absence of Zoe Oldcroft and Lottie Knapp as well, coming right down in front of us in our commentary position. Crowd beginning to spot the two sets of players coming out and beginning to get some noise behind them as well. Of course, the two development teams play each other today as well so there's lots of Saracens and Gloucester Harbury players kicking around from that earlier match coming back to support their teammates and friends in this second half finally poised here five point difference between them three tries to Saris two to the Cherry and Whites what can we bring up in this second 40 minutes will be Saracens to get us going in this second half. Referee Nicky O'Donnell just having a quick chat with fly half Zoe Harrison. A couple of bounces of the ball. Okay. Happy skipper. Kerry happy. Check with the captain, Kerry Large. And we're off and running in the second half in the West Country. Deep kick from Harrison. Taken. By Gloucester Hartbury. That's a great tackle by there by Hannah Bottomman. First bit of defensive action from Saracens. Lined her up, big shoulder into it. Just slowed down her momentum as well. Large out to 
Heard caused so many problems in that first half. And that mistake from Gloucester Hartbury there. Forwards by Ray. Set up by the Hannah Bottom and Tackle. Really flying into that first one. That will be, I'm sure, one of the messages, one of the many messages the coaches have said in that first 40 minutes. Alex Osterbury and Susie Appleton. And of course, from a Saracen's point of view, which you'll more than likely be looking at Marley. Where, where do you think they do need to improve? There is a bit of maybe set pieces not quite going right for, for Saracens. Yeah, set piece and, and a little bit of discipline around the, around the park and, and, and ball skills. Here we go again. The front row is coming up there, referee says. So we'll have it again. Saracens put in. Same again. And, and, and like you see, Mo's, Mo's in the thick of it all. Oh, she's talking to her front row. She's talking to, the, to all the forwards. She wants them. Uh, she's encouraging them. And Saracens needs to improve in, the, in this uh, in this area of the field. Uh, we, we've done well to, to turn them over near their 22, so we need to keep playing here. We'll contrast at half-backs between the two sets of sides. The 19-year-old Eloise Hayward, 20-year-old Zoe Harrison against the experience of Natasha Hunton. World Cup winner, Kerry Large. Kerry Large, 29 and 28, <laughs> the two of them. They're, they're, they're on my age, Lou. Uh, <laughs> great run here by Sydney Gregson. Gregson spent some time training with the England 7 squad during the week and real impact off the bench last week. Good momentum in this attack from Saracens. Galligan with the carry there. Hayward goes in, finds the ball. The teenage number nine, Harrison, just a soft pass, clap coming in off a wing. Good work from the skipper, rolling a couple of times on the floor as well. Sarri's looking to strike, searching for this bonus point. Here's Hayward, Harrison gives it to McKenna, long looping pass, and there's space for Casey here on the outside. She dives over, there's the bonus point for Saracens. Thumbs up for the linesman, try awarded from the referee. Really good score from the champions. Bit of class inside the 22, and they extend their lead to 10 points. Well, whatever Alex said to him at halftime <laughs> is work, doesn't it? Um, I just think that, that, that we started playing rugby in the right areas, and I think that was off from, from the, the kickoff, kicking deep, and then and then uh, making sure that we're pushing them up in defence. Um, I think in the first half, we, we, we sat back on our heels a little bit and, and gave them too much time. But it's a great pass by Sarah McKenna here, and Chopper just finishes it off in the corner. <coughs> Proper job. There you go. That's my West Country coming there you through go. for you. You're in the West Country. <laughs> to come, uh, come out with accents like that. Let's see what Zoe's got here. So obviously the easier one she missed. The two harder kicks today she's got. So not too dissimilar position from a second strike really in the first half. She really got behind that. Just drawing the line from ball to post here. The Saris captain. But just talking about the the age difference between between the the, ni the nines and tens between the two teams, it just shows what Saracens have got coming up through the ranks. And in so Sarah's a great player, and she she breaks the line for us, and is always looking for that offload. Eloise, um, she came on on against uh, Harlequins last week, and, and she gave us a uh, tempo. And uh, she listened to the players around her, and, and uh, I think she did a great job. And she's doing a good job out there today. Like it's always different starting a game to coming off the bench because when you're coming off the bench, you, you, you're just like, oh, I'm just going to go for this. Whereas starting a game, you, you're thinking about the whole way to to the ground of, of what you're going to do today, and you don't want to mess up because you want to keep that starting shirt. So, um, but I think she's doing a really good job. Impressive yeah. display so far for me. Two Saracens youngsters. Second wall, 13. Kick off Gloucester Harvey with themselves. A penalty though. So it's little things like that by Saracens, just discipline, and then and then the ball is moving all over the place. Is let's just get back and get set, and and I can imagine that's something that Alex actually probably did say to him at ha half time, and I know probably if he didn't say it properly to him at half time, he'd be saying it to us after the game and in training next week. Kerry Large with a, a very, very decent touch rider from that penalty. It's good because we put all the pressure back on ourselves. Um, obviously, the line outs have been, been a bit hit and most missed by both teams, so we'll just see what Gloucester Hartbury do here. I was about to say, well, it's a line out, but that necessarily hasn't been the best thing so far in this game. Gloucester Hartbury just about managing somehow to get the ball back, and they're within four metres of the try line. Keeping it tight this time. Great defence there from Saracens, just immediately pouncing on that drive around the fringes. I'm now looking for the options. One of those. The ref has called scrum advantage to Gloucester Hartbury. 
Williams with the drive that time. Hunt now to Large. What can the backs produce? Kerry Large looking for Tatiana Hunt. Breaking tackles. Brilliant try from the inside centre. We saw her break the line in the first half. This time closer to the line. Two tackles she's gone through. Gloucester Hartbury right back in this game. Well, they came straight back at us. We we compounded error on error and in Gloucester have got straight back into the game and they've got a much easier kick than what we just had. So, uh, yeah, it's great work and to see Tat go over the line for the second time today is fantastic. And I'm sure Scotty here, the England uh, coach, uh, will be thinking that as well. It's got Beeman and certainly, I'm sure, from a back's perspective, will very much have enjoyed what he's seen so far from a player who'll be putting Rachel Burford under pressure for that 12 shirt to come the Six Nations. And a really, really impressive showing Time is off. for us so far this afternoon as we get another angle of Tatiana Hurst just power. It's not only the power though, Mike, it's the line she hits as well, isn't it? Because she's running in there towards the arms of players rather than their shoulders and, and that takes a lot of skill to do as well. Oh yeah, time is on. Just, just brilliant really. Um, she, she, does it, she doesn't need to do the step or anything fancy there. She's just running a hard line, power through. And we are now three points between the two sides. Conversion successful from Underwood. So 24, 21 to Saracens. Gloucester right in this one. Taz Bricknell. We saw uh, there has come on as uh, Larger gets this back line going again. Here is Hurd. Big handoff on. <laughs> Great hand off there on, on Nina at the R12. Just uh, putting it down and just her strength so far, both in the tackle and breaking lines. Tatiana Hurd is McKenna now, one who has broken lines numerous times. And there she goes again, the Saracens fullback. Wonderful, wonderful line break. And then, as Marley says, a wonderful offload as well. Saracens just past the Gloucester Harbury 10 metre line. Harrison looks up, Tatiana Hurd with some footballing skills on the floor, then bounces on the ball, gets up manages to win a couple of meters hunt to millie wood tries to step inside harrison good tackle from the saracens fly half and then a steal there saracens with the breakdown work briny cleal with a trundle down the touchline good work from the third try scorer tackle roll sorry <laughs> Of, uh, defensive work there as Costa Harvey comes to the top of the rock. Kelly Smith oh. getting involved, coming over the top, some counter rocking, pushing that's, and shoving. That's a bit of winger on winger then between Kelly Smith and Sydney Gregson, and I don't think Sydney like that at all. Bit of niggle between the two sides, bit of spice in this game in the second half. Very tightly poised as we have a look at this as Kelly Smith comes through, going over the top of the rock and. As you mentioned, Sydney Gregson there, uh, not too much enjoying that shove as the two wingers tussle there. Great to see. Not often you see two wingers tussling at the breakdown, is it, Mark? Great little tussle between those two. May Campbell looking for a ball at the moment. So we've just got another substitution happening here. we got uh, Nina coming off and Lauren Cattell coming on. So uh, I think that would be... Uh, Thank you. Just to bring something a little bit Come different, on. Katow likes to carry the ball. Um, she's got slick hands, especially when she breaks the line, she's always looking for that offload, so, yeah. I'm sure from a Saracen's point of view as well, Come trying to disrupt that channel ball, of Tatiana Hurd, which she's managed to get down. Ladies. Just to, trying to get a, a ball. I think that uh, kick from Harrison has managed to go out of the stadium, so we, uh, we've got a ball from the other side now. <laughs> May Campbell has uh, hands on hips, frustrated figure, the Saracen's hooker, so she's patiently waited for it to um, oh no, the bounce of the ball has then run away from <laughs> Eloise Hayward it's uh, not quite going right it's a big looping pass to the hooker and we can get going again there seems to be loads of turnover ball today from, from counter rocking which is great to see it, it just shows how, how competitive the breakdown is uh, um, in the league could take this time by Saracens and finally they have a driving wall set but Gloucester Harvey trying to come through and disrupt it at the moment the black shirts powering towards the line this is a really good drive advantage on the play as well for Saracens this has gone a good 20 meters this driving wall ball available red shirts coming through referee though well there's a card coming out here digging into a pocket as well and a yellow card for number three for Gloucester Harbour it's Katie Dugan the prop the Scottish international featured in every game so far for them this season but stopping that driving wall illegally and she will spend 10 minutes in the bin
Kick to touch is a very good one. And well, we went 20 metres from the last Saracens driving mall. They've only got five to go this time. Full complement of forwards for May Campbell to aim for. I don't think they're going to put anyone up here as Gloss Tart Breeze says. Make sure we get this set right. Gallagher Jordan the target. Trying to, trying to sack the line out down there, but we've just rolled Rolls to the left hand side, rolls it towards the try line, just short from Saracen's point of view. In, coup, in come the black shirts, round from the back. Hayward has a point. Harrison has the ball now. Helps it on to the replacement. Cattell looking to try and find the outside shoulder. A knock on though, in contact and a bit of relief from a home side point of view, just as it looked like Saracens were going to strike. Uh, I think this might be not such a such a bad um, scenario for us because obviously they've just had a yellow card to, to the prop, so they're going to have to take off one of uh, most likely the back row or winger for for a new prop coming in. So uh, so depending on what they decide to do here, but. Hopefully we can win it back in this scrum, but I was just literally saying as well about Lauren Cattell coming in, she breaks the line and she's very good at offloading, but I think at that point she just needed to carry hard as she did and make sure she kept the ball safe. Have we had the replacement for the front row? Referee Nikia Donald just checking one or two replacements. And of course with Katie Dugan off, Gloucester Hartbury do need to get themselves a prop. Ten minutes in the bin. <laughs> Sean Williams just going to number eight then for Gloucester Harbury. No open sides for this scrum. She picks up the ball from the back. Black shirt swarming all over of her. But illegally says the referee. Yeah, so we've also had another uh, another sub from Saracens. Uh, Eloise has come on and Georgie Gulliver's. So Eloise has gone off, sorry, and Georgie Gulliver's come on. Unfortunately, she just got the, the penalty against her for the high tackle, but she's straight into this game, straight putting pressure at the back of the scrum. So uh, I know Mo and uh, Georgie Gulliver have uh, a really good friends and great banter off the pitch, so I'm sure it's going to come onto the pitch now. So uh, there'll be a lot of competitiveness around this scrum and line-out time. 37 caps for Georgie Gulliver in an England shirt. No hunt with 41. Two players that certainly know what they're doing at the back of scrums and rucks as another line out has been disrupted. I don't know how times I've had to say that today, but <laughs> you can probably count the clean line outs on one hand. It's some line out practice for both sets of sides will be. I'm not sure why they're even opting for line-outs anymore. <laughs> <laughs> They'll both be needing a bit of practice, I'm sure, come Tuesday and Thursday nights yeah. next week. So there's first Sari scrum with George on, so uh, let's see what happens here. Let the chat begin. Mo, yeah, Mo will put the pressure on. I'm sure they give each other a little wink and a smile at some point around now. Not really made eye contact yet, the two nines. No number eight this time for Gloucester Harbury with that. 14 players currently they're playing with. Katie Dugan still in the bit. Gulliver now to Harrison. It's a bit deeper this time. Here's Lauren Cattell looking for the offload out the tackle. Tatiana Hurd just managing to get something on the ball and disrupt play, but Saracens did have themselves an advantage on that play. They have themselves a penalty. And it was a feature last week, Marley. Certainly, if Harlequins play the, the quick tap and goes, they really tried to, to take that to you. Whereas, obviously, usually Saracen's line out is, is very reliable. But is, is that something that kind of Alex and as a playing staff, you kind of just take a step back and say, you know, we, we are a, a more measured team. We don't want to kind of quickly tap and go. We just want to kind of reset and, and do what we're good at. Um. I think I think the right time tap and go it is there for us, but I think when you, when you've got a boot, as Zoe Harrison like being your ten, and, and look how fast you just got us down the park then. Um, and our lineup does function. Obviously today the, there's been a lot of changes this week in training and in players coming in and out and a little bit of it like unsure. So actually you, you're going to get um, issues that we've had today, but the lineup has been good. Like we've got the one try off of it, um, and, and now we're, we're functioning well now. So. No. That's Ladies a great take there by there. Rosie. Quicker, please, too. No. Referee, this time just uh, saying, can we speed things up to... That's quite lucky for us, really. Campbell. 
some time with the under-20s, May Campbell. She actually spent some time also here for Hartbury for her A-level, so coming back to a place she knows very well. Good take this time by Saracens. What is this driving more got? Just resetting itself, the ball being worked to the back. Georgia Gulliver patting on backs, packing on backsides, just encouraging it forward. Yeah, she'd be massively talking to the girls there. Just going to the side, but now it peels off to the right-hand side. Saracens are over. Fifth try of the afternoon for them. It was patient build-up from that driving mall, and they pounce from close range. And I think it was May Campbell to try scorer, so that's really good work by us. And really good work from the pack there. There's some big, heavy blows out because that was a real effort. And as you can see, like lots of Hartbury putting everything into that. Even your Kerry Large is in there, your number 10, so it's just unlucky. And there's nothing Mo could do there, unfortunately. Well, she's had a bit of frustration throwing into the line out. May Campbell, but this time she was one of the finishers, eh? Fifth try of the season for the Saris hooker. Thank you. A good chance. Fifth strike of the afternoon from the T4. Zoe Harrison, another really assured performance at 10, just growing into this role. Week by week, you seem to see her in the Premier 15s. Mm. Slow Great drill, strike. kick this time, and up go the yellow flags again. Three from five now. You even heard that from up here. For Zoe Harrison, a really clean strike, as Marley said, a connection you heard. From up here and just as we see Saracens again it was just the patience here Marley just to initially as it stopped then to have that right peel and, and May Campbell to go over yeah and just squaring that that back up oh, I just think Gloucester now just need to settle try and pin Saracens in that area um, obviously they've still got four four five minutes on on the clock really so they they just need to keep Saris down here because Mr. Hartley, have, in fact, both sides throughout this game, when the other's taken the lead, they've done well to respond. It's been a great cracking, take there. cracking bit of action oh. in the Premier 15s as Howell tries to take it forward, the Welsh fullback, large now, looking to try and use his bat line, Heard, Underwood, unable to, well, she does in fact shake the challenge of Clap, but then the Saracens tacklers come in and bring the winger down ball and there it's just for really Hunt. slowed the play up for Gloucester Hartbury like for, from that um, high ball um, Mo whipped it out to the backs but Saracens just needs it need, um, just to, really slowed it down in that tackle Harrison it's for the aerial option a block on the kick there I think okay, it's accidental into our own player scrum as we see uh, I think the, the scrunchy scrum. hairs Natasha Hunt doing some stretches to some yeah. cramp as I mentioned earlier on in the game, 7's fitness, 15's fitness, very different beasts and yes. still really been adjusting. I think it looks like she's just trying to shake off a bit of cramp. But she's also got her socks down now as well. And sometimes when you've got your socks down a bit lower, that means you've got a little bit of cramp coming. Just dropped the ball there as well. she made her way to scrum time. Natasha Hunt just checking the call with... Kerry Large. <laughs> Ten points then in between the two sides into the last quarter of the game. We head. And with the player advantage, excellent shove back, but really good work from Sean Williams there to pick and then also make really good meters from the back of that scrub. Saracens over the ball. And that's an excellent turnover from Lottie Clapp, I'm not too sure how she got that turnover by. <laughs> I think she was sat down when she was trying for it. But... <laughs> someone... I'll take it, I'll take well, it. Well, I was about to say, Marley, as someone who is uh, renowned throughout world rugby for turnovers, what did you make of the, the technique on the... I'm not too sure, because I was thinking, Lottie, you can't go for that ball, you, your bum's on the floor, but I'm not too sure. I might have not been watching the right uh, ruck. The referee said she was holding her own weight and... It's fine. That's the only one that counts. <laughs> Just 
bit of energy gone out of uh, Gloucester Hartbury, as you expect, being a player down. Good fist pass there by Gulliver. Harrison looking for options, brilliant dummy, found some space, looks for the kick through, gathered by McKenna superbly. I'm not too sure she connected with that kick, but it's a great pick up by McKenna. Bit of a slice from Harrison, now the handling from Saracens, just as Callaghan thought she was sprinting towards the try line. Again, Zoe Harrison though, we've seen her with ball in hand, she broke the line numerous times, especially in the second half last week against Harlequins and just showing her ability here. As a 16 ladies. Ball carrying fly half as Mr. Hartbury have made three replacements here. Trying to bring on some fresh legs, trying to add some impetus. Tatiana Hurd just back from injury, so a good 60 minute run out for the inside centre. Two tries for her. Don't get much better than that, does it? Coming back from injury and getting a couple of tries. Very impressive showing in the Yorkshire centre as uh, Dusky Howell just receiving some treatment the Gloucester Hartbury fullback, so time is off. And it also looks like it's raining out there a little bit now. Bit of a light sure. spitting in the... Yeah, you can see it on the... On the our pictures. Can we have a replacement, Like please? fine, drizzly rain I coming down. And I think it's going to be another sub as well. I'm not sure what happened here. So, with... I think it's actually the uh, through through slicing the ball there, Zoe Harrison. The actually her foot landed on Dudgy Howell. Unfortunately, she was uh, committed to the challenge. Of course, the Gloucester Hartbury fullback and no one's fault. Just a, a coming together of bodies and an unfortunate foot. I think landing on the Gloucester Hartbury fullback is just testing the strength of it there. It's now you can see in her face. I think uh, yeah, that she is looks her. like she's in a bit of pain. Afternoon's work is done there. Fullback is 31 cats of Wales, also played some sevens. All of last season injured. Lecturer at uh, Cardiff Met University. Got the call from Susie Appleby to come back and give rugby a go, but unfortunately her afternoon looks as if it's done. Quite a big hobble there. She makes her way off the pitch. All right, ladies, time is on. Time back on, rugby. Back underway. Crunch! Boom! Set! Just give you a, uh, a view of where these two often score their tries. Well, coming into the game as the Gloucester Harbury pack win themselves a penalty and Mohun taps and goes. The Gloucester Harbury backs have scored 63 tries so far this season compared to 17 to the forwards and Sarri's had 48 tries to their pack. So see where their strength lies, can see where they cross the line. Two very contrasting try scorers either side. Here is Hunt, gives out to Dugan back on the field. A bit of a hospital pass there to Kelly Smith. Yes. League top try scorer. Not really seen her best with ball in hand. Off. Captain. We've not really seen her with ball in hand today and I think Thank that's uh, Saracen's uh, trying to shut down that, that, that ball out to her. Thank you. Discipline at the breakdown. Nottie Clapp being We've spoken just to here. That's two in quick succession. Yeah. I need a change in behaviour or you're limiting my options. We need to be careful there. Yeah. That's any good captain okay. should. Thank you, mate. You she, uh, Nottie Clapp there, to is telling the referee something maybe to look at from Saracen's point of view. Certainly. Yeah. The two sets of teams actually both coming into a huddle, so it's going to be a, a word for either. Or two packs especially. It's going to be where I am. Most games Saracen's come in for a little chit-chat from Lottie, uh, from the referee. Um, we just need to smarten up. Um, like 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 ref said we've had two quick penalties and concessions obviously for two different re things but we just need to be smart keep the referee on our side um otherwise it'd be like what happened in the first half with compound error on error and um we just don't need that what's it like having a winger as a captain because it's not traditional in rugby someone out wide being uh, being your skipper um it can be difficult sometimes because obviously like you're in the you're in the thick of it and being in the forwards and obviously uh, the Saris forwards are, are, are very, um, oh, that's a great line. Um, but the, the, the Saris forwards are, are, are very, um, 
in your face, <laughs> confrontational. Yeah, very confrontational, all action, all action packed, especially with the Bri uh, Briny and Poppy Clears like. And it, there's pretty much not much Poppy and Briny don't know about rugby, so sometimes they're trying to rough the game as they're trying to play it. So um, it can it can be hard for Lottie, but um, Poppy's like uh, our pack leader, so. Um, and, and that really works for us because then she gets that opportunity to talk to, to, to the referee. Um, I should imagine our pack leader that this week would be Briny. Um, and, it, it, and it's just a chance that someone a bit closer to the action is talking to the ref. Because obviously, if Lottie, we're getting Lottie to speak to the ref about something that sometimes she hasn't even got a clue what we're on about. <laughs> and then when we're, when we're all action packed and we're fired up and we're asking Lottie to do something, sometimes we, we might not do it in the best way possible. But on the flip side, there may be a calming influence as well yes, on the team. But yes. This is, uh, the Saracens winger. Saracens with ball in hand at the moment. They've gone through lots of phases here. Good work. Aside from North London, Gulliver to Harrison steps off the right foot. It's carry just. Nick Campbell there with the carry, the latest try scorer. Hannah Bottomer now with a bit of space, bouncing yes. through two tackles, unable to get through Mo Hunt. Well, she does actually steamroller over her. And then brought down, a little spill on the floor, but the first time we've really seen Hannah Bottoman burst into life and what she can do. She just had a bit of space on the defence there and pure brutal strength from the Saracens prop. Then just lost it as uh, that's going to be a. I now think she's getting subbed. Last bit of action there as. <laughs> She did great, and, that, and that's what you get from Hannah Bottomer. Like, she's so such a powerful runner, um, in, and she does it so well. Uh, obviously, she was unlucky not to look after the ball on the floor there, um, but I think across the board from Saracens, we've not done that enough today. Um, but I, I think the sub that's just come on is, is gone to number eight, and now you're seeing Bryony Cleo at prop. Um, which happens it happens quite a lot so uh, for the EPS obviously Briny's been selected into that um, oh <laughs> uh, Briny's been selected into that as a prop so um, it's fantastic we, we, yeah it, it, yeah it, it, it's absolutely great it, it, and I think that um, obviously she'd play a lot more at prop for Saracen so if we didn't have the high, uh, high, likes of Hannah Bottomman and um, if you had the likes of me Poppy fit to play back row but she does a, yeah, she does a great job for us, and, and look at this play. Sydney Gregson with the initial break, then Lottie Clatt, the show and go, trying to beat round the outside. Here goes the Saracen skipper. Three, four players coming back, and can Clapp get over the line? Just short, brought down. Brilliant run. Need to recycle the ball quickly. Through come the players. Gregson, which was on one wing a second ago, now on the other. Here's Campbell looking for a second try of the afternoon. Places it down. Gulliver now looking to the right hand side. Through come the runners towards the try line, just short. Saracens brought up Bryony Cleal in there as a pivot, just holding the ball now. Slower play from the Saracens oh, forward. Silly. Through come Gloucester Harbury. The referee stops play. No advantage on the play. And offside for the home side. So Saracens with another chance to do it. But let's have a look at this Lottie Clap run. We've seen her stop and go just for a second. Bit of show of the ball to the outside. Option. And Emma she Singh, the youngster. Today. She's just great and she just carries on running. It's just about protecting that ball as she goes down here. Excellent I'm not sure the tackler well. released them, but. No, no I, I'm aware of that, but you're not going to play quickly like that if you're not giving them the opportunity to go back. Mentioned the, the Cleals speaking to the referee and uh, Briony there, just um, imparting her wisdom, shall we say, on. No. Referee no, Nikki O'Donnell. <laughs> a bit of a uh, a bit of a discussion. Zoe Harrison, Georgia Gulliver, Bryony Cleal all involved in it, but the ten point difference. Zoe Harrison, who's been really on form in terms of striking from the tee, fancies or should be an easy three points. Yeah, that's fine. You say should be, but the, the easier ones she's picked today, she hasn't got, so... One red, back on the try line, one. On the try line, thank you. Yeah. 
Harrison then taking a time over this kick. Drilled straight through. I think Zoe's had a fantastic game today. She's carried the ball well. She's distributed well. Apart from her slice on the uh, on that kick through earlier on, she, uh, kicking game's been really good. Certainly, you'd say that uh, Katie Daly McLean still very much the number one English fly half, but Zoe Harrison really putting pressure on her in that shirt. Had a couple of starts for the Red Roses and more than able backup and also putting some pressure as I think Rosie Galligan just lost the ball and perhaps the floodlights there and got a bit of a, a shank on her face. Ball's out. I'm looking for Powell driving forward the Gloucester Harbury hooker and it was probably about this point last week when I said it will take something magical for Saracens to come back against Harlequins as Kelly Smith dances through a couple of players bursts through the line Kelly Smith looks for options catch me at the far Great defender tackle. brilliant tackle from Harrison to stop the winger Hunt quick ball looking for the outside here is Underwood now trying to carry it forward 2-3, Saracens players come in and look to drag her into touch. Excellent defence. That's great defence there by Saracens. And Surrey Harrison's low chop tackle, take him down at source. In, and then McKenna, Katow and Chopper just holding up the winger, Ellie Underwood, and taking her into touch. Here is what Kelly Smith can do, though. Here how she's been terrorising defences throughout the Tyrrells Premier 15s this season. But Zoe Harrison, as Marley says, keeping low, making sure she got hold of her and just committed to that one. Next stoppage. It looked as if she might burst through. Anything could happen here in the line out, I think. Campbell, Galligan, and the Saracens pack are hoping that they can secure some simple ball. And it goes to Campbell, and it's taken in the middle. And that one certainly more secure. That's a great line out there by Saracens. And now Campbell leading the charge from the back, just looking around. And now they try and use ball in hand. Oh, great turnover there, ball. But Gloucester Hartbury, I just think uh, Chopper lost it in the tackle. Really good. What can they work here? Here is Millie Wood looking to try and go round the outside. Gives it to Kelly Smith. Spinning, twisting, pirouetting. Large looking for Powell. Bit of noise from the home fans in this near stand. Spaces in the Saracen defence. Loop over the top, gathered by Underwood. Ball, ball. Placed down by Costa Hartbury. Through come the Saracens counter ruck. A bit messy at the no, moment. No. And a bit fragmented. Underwood goes down the blind side. Not much on offer there. They got the advantage on penalty. Hunt now back in at scrum half. Here is Large show and go. Fancy the chances through the gap. Brought down. Hunt no, again. Looks to try and step. Galligan read the play. Yes. Large, looping one. Gloucester Harbury looking it through the hands. Bounces off <laughs> Kelly Smith. Bit of a sight. As you can see there, the rain just coming down in slightly more uh, intensity now. A, a very chilly evening in the West Country. Very are on. chilly. <laughs> I can't Thank feel you. my feet anymore. I think I'd rather be out there playing than standing here now. Team <laughs> <laughs> uh, black offside. So we uh, see Gloucester Hartbury, the long looping pass to Kelly Smith, just not quite on her uh, tiptoes there, to almost react rather than... Uh, I think she was sat waiting for the ball, I think if she was coming towards it, it would have, uh, she might have caught it, but they had the, they had the penalty advantage. Um, it looks like they've opted for the scrum here, so uh, they made a sub in the... Shai Pinnock coming on, the 20-year-old back blow player. Afternoon's work done for Charlotte Foe. And uh, no, the clock's off, she's just put a bit back on. Well, it was the 16 point comeback from Saracens last week. Gloucester Hartbury have 13 points to make up in this last 10 minutes. They have themselves a penalty and a very good attacking platform for them to work through. Still smiling, Mo Hunt. I think there's that chat you mentioned, Marley, with uh, 
Georgie Gulliver. I think I'm not too much sure about scrum chat, but I think Bryony just needs to stay square there. Stay square. Wait for the ball. There you go. Your career and refereeing after Marley. Oh, yeah, I'm not too sure about that. Need this now. Need this, mate. But then she just needs the support of a, a back row back player, Kaylee. Just just giving her a bit of chat there. Just stay square, Bryony, on her. She's got the power, she's got the stroke Bryony has, so Some she just needs to go through. From Bryony Cleo this afternoon, third try scorer for Saracens from five this afternoon, all that carrying in the back row, and now she's got to crouch down and do some work in the front row as well. At the back, be a reset, I reckon. through Gossa Hartbury. Oh. And then if they manage to get the ball towards the try line, Natasha Hunt fancied a dart. Pick and go around the fringes from Gloucester Harbury again. Looking towards the try line and they've got that score. Right back in this game in the closing stages. A bonus point for Gloucester Harbury. Natasha Hunt went close. And it looks as if Taz Brickler is the one that's gone over. And we're in for a fantastic finale here at Hartbury College Sports Stadium. We are indeed, and it's just like the, 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 the try that Briney scored down at exactly the same place in the pitch. Um, I thought they were going to reset the scrum, but it's a, it's a great pick and go by Sean Williams there. Then Mo went for it herself, and then uh, Taz Brick got over the line. Really important kick this now, because eight points between the two sides. As Underwood six minutes left of the game anything can happen now after last week <laughs> I'm still back in Saris obviously but anything can are, happen Mark. of course you are but Underwood if she knocks this over of course a converted try after would win it for Gloucester Heartbreak and the Underwood then just curving yeah, one in that. really good strike from the Gloucester Heartbreak winger Four from four for her this afternoon as we have another look at this try. But we are all set for a grandstand finish. Six points between the two teams. The skill of Sean Williams then to offload that to me. It's just quality and just shows what a quality player she is. Well, Zoe Harrison just taking time over this restart. We'll get Marley Packers, Tyrrell's Pro 15th player of the match in the next couple of minutes and we'll have a word with that player at full time. But uh, could it possibly change from a moment of brilliance from someone on either side of the pitch? Here's Natasha Hunt, and there's numbers here for Gloucester Harbury down this wing if they can use it. Millie Wood coming forward, you've got Kelly Smith outside of Wood, goes through the tackles, places the ball down now. Pressure on Miss Saracen's defence as uh, uh. Gloucester Harbury try and take it to that line of black. Marley Packer calling for her teammates to get up quickly. Referee spots an infringement. Natasha Hunt. Snooping, looking around for the ball. It's knocked back a couple of times again. No quick tap there. So hard commentating and not supporting at the same time. <laughs> By now, I'd be shouting at them so much. <laughs> people can forgive you uh, this afternoon, Marley. Scrum called by Gloucester Hartbury. Oh, let's. I think that's the first time today they, they've opted not to go for that, that that line and it just shows that the, the line outs from both teams have been so inconsistent that actually scrum time for them is um, is more that likely that they're going to get the ball back and obviously the infringement that they got the reset earlier on that um, they're looking to do that again. Time ticking on for Gloucester Harbury women, Natasha Hunt just checking the call. And after we've seen this play, we'll get Marley Packers, the player of the match. Crouch! Bind! Set! At the back, given straight back to Natasha Hunt, but it was really well read by... Carry from Powell Hewell, Hughes, the big number eight for Gloucester Harbury. Long looping pass to the far side, Millie Wood just unable to get it. Saracen's back in possession. Natasha Hunt on this near side, just trying to get rid of the cramp in her legs. She's been doing that for the past 10 or 15 minutes, just going through some stretches, Trini trying to work her calves. Yeah, knock on by Millie. We're just handing possession back to Saracens and possibly the game with a couple of minutes left. But Marley Packer with 
These few minutes left, just get your Tyrrells Premier 15s Player of the Match. Um, so it was a tough one today. There's been some great performances out there from both teams. Um, obviously, Tat coming back from injury and getting over the line, she's such a powerful runner. Um, then Mo, she's been great for Gloucester Hartbury today, constantly talking to the, talking to her forwards, talking to her backs, telling them what she wants. Um, then for, for Saracens, cross the board. Uh, uh, like obviously, I, 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 I massively support because they're my team, but Bryony Cleo has been great, um, counter, counter rocking, um, Hannah Bottoman, but um, my Charles Premiership uh, man of match goes to Surrey Harrison today. Um, it was between her and Sarah McKenna. I think some, Sarah McKenna's run some great lines, um, talking to her back, telling her what she wants, but, but Zoe's just been that all-round ball player for me. Um, she's made some great kicks. Um, she breaks the line, she runs hard, and... Yeah, in, in then that uh, that try uh, the the tackle that that saved um, at the Kelly bottom Smith. there, and she yeah on Kelly Smith, she just stopped her at swords. It was a low chop tackle, and it's something that you want to see from your ten. So yeah, she's my man on a match today. Big hug between Tatiana Hurd and Natasha Hunt. An impressive afternoon's work, but the uh, cramp eventually getting too much. And there is your Tyrrells Premier 15s player of the match, Zoe Harrison. Really impressive display at fly half today. Four from six from Mati and orchestrated that Saracens back line masterfully so far. Still a bit of work to close the game out here, Saracens. They have possession though in these closing minutes. Gulliver whips one round. Here is Harrison, looping blast to Gregson, space for the winger to run into, tries to step back inside. So, Sam McKenna there. Obstruction, just stopping a few Gloucester Harbury defenders from getting on the ball. Tap and go. I'm trying to get some Not energy up. into this game from Emma Singh. Not too sure that pass went backwards then either off that penalty. And that one uh, that all the way backwards. <laughs> Kerry Large on the ball then. Kerry Large oh, makes the first tackle, breaks the second tackle, gets to the third as well. Brilliant work from the Gloucester Harbury fly half. Gloucester in possession, remember, converted try, wins the game for Gloucester Harbury. Taken forward, frantic moments for the Saracens' defence, tiring legs on either side. Advantage as well for Gloucester Harbury. To the near side. Here is a break from Millie Wood with some space on into gets around Gregson. Brought down. Britton on out, scrum half in. Instead of Natasha Hunt. Referee having a dig around in a pocket, and will Saracens will finish the game with 14 players. 14 players with a quick tap, and oh, no, the ref's not letting it go. Tamitha Copson. Oh, a bit of pushing and shoving there. Here's Gary Large spinning and twisting and breaking tackles. I'm just going to carry to the line as much as possible as we get a look at the Saracens' faces on the bench, one or two, with a bit of nerves. Well, with the player advantage at the scrum, to have the Copson off for Saris. Mr. Harvey looking to take advantage comes to scrum time. Never on side. Let's go, ladies. Quick, I'm just waiting. Quick, set. Who's going on the flank, or we needed a number eight? Oh, oh you can hear that in the referee's mic. Uh, fantastic there, inside. Hannah Duffy had enough with the chat from the Gloucester Harbury front row and just telling them to pipe down. Superb insight. Honestly, sometimes the front row chat is just awful. Just got to let them get on with it, though. Exciting stages here on England Rugby's Facebook and YouTube pages, as well as Premier15s.com. It's at the back of the scrum for Gloucester Harbury. Poor pass out the back, but still in possession. Large picks it up. She went on a brilliant run last time. It was a grandstand finish at Allianz Park last week. We're in for a grandstand finish here. It's taken forward by... Great tackle by Brian Uteel. February. Still inside their own half here, Gloucester Hartbury. Inside the last minute, but they do have the ball. Good Saracens tackling at the moment. Bricknell. Missed ball. Looking for Babelian. That was really good by uh, 
Cattell to cut off that pass and just coming up. Still ferociously working at the breakdown at the moment. Saracens, here is Kelly Smith, bit of a dummy, working through the hands out across to Harbury. Yes, McKenna. Sarah McKenna coming through. We just need to make sure we don't let their backs get, get the ball in into some space. Here is Kelly Smith, ball knocked out of her. Was it not forward? Doesn't matter because there's no advantage on the plate. Thank you. Going back all the way to the centre of the pitch. Okay. Penalty advantage, so time is dead. This is it. Or the is last player of the game. Week? Quick tap and go. And Bryony Cleal still talking to the referee. He's been just told I, to be quiet. I'm pretty sure Bryony Cleal was right there. Um, the I'd question if she was wrong, the but the ref is reiterating it to uh, to the player there. So they are very lucky there. And uh, not only lucky, they've gone again for the scrum. If it is not set, I agree with you. It did not. Just go. With the player Let's advantage go. and something you often don't hear a referee telling a player that they agree with them but uh, scrum time for Brian Cleal and the rest of the Saracens pack to deal with now all the Gloucester Harbury backs coming to this blind side at the moment there's four in a tight space almost between the five and the 15 Ellie Underwood and Emma Singh lined up on the other side Gloucester Harbury trying to get it to the back of this scrum they've got themselves another penalty Taz Brick now Wants a quick tap and go this time, it does leave the hands. Here is Ellie Underwood, breaks the first tackle. Still on the halfway line at the moment, Gloucester Hartbury. Large with the ball, into the middle. Wants to try and throw it. Just kick it out. Towards Emma Singh. Just go out. Saracens pushed into touch, and that's the final play. Saracens have closed the game out. A bonus point win for the champions. A real difficult match here in the West Country. Gloucester Hartbury pushing them all the way. But it is a fantastic win for Saracens. 14 out of 15 now in the league so far this season. And the champions, with their six tries, march on again. And do me a favor, mate. they had some work Just to close out the mic, game, Tommy. Marley. But what champions do, isn't it? They close them out and win. Yeah, and we most definitely did that today. And I think uh, it's credit to Gloucester Hartbury. They keep they kept on coming at us right to till the end of the game. And, and I think there's probably points in that, and you could hear in my commentary that I was like, get the ball out or get up in the line. And and I think that that's the way the the league is now. It goes right to that 80th minute, and, and I think that's shown last week. But coming into this week, and ha the performance that they put on was was it. And but Saracens, we did we did our job. We we kept cool. Um, and we made sure we got the win that we needed with the bonus point. Um, and I think there was fantastic uh, like performances through players from both teams out there today. So, yeah, no, it was a really good game to watch. So Gloucester Harbury women take away two bonus points for themselves with that try bonus point and a losing bonus point. But let's have a look at what happened across a really enthralling 80 minutes. This one, the first try of the game, Tatiana Hurd. Two tries for her this afternoon and this one just brilliant about timing, hitting the line and getting the pass from Kerry Large and going over for the uh, opening score inside 90 seconds of the game and a really good angle here to see what uh, what she was doing and as you mentioned uh, really impressive showing for her uh, this afternoon Tatiana Hurd Saracens though responding themselves and Tyrrell's Premier 15's pair of the match Zoe Harrison with this long looping pass for Sarah McKenna. How close was uh, McKenna towards your, your player of the match, Marley? Oh, she was up there. But I just think Zoe was just all round good today. Um. Yeah, just showing a class, Zoe. Looping. Excellent pass and a stroll in in the end for McKenna. This is the score that uh, levelled it up after a, a second from Sarah McKenna. Dudgy Howell with it. This is great hands, uh, simple, and just a simple try there. Easy to finish, I'm pretty sure she's done that loads of times for club and country. It was Saracens though who would end the first half in front. This made it 14 all. It's Harrison then giving it off to uh, Hannah Casey. This were one of the highlights of the uh, second half, doing really well to just hold on to that ball behind her.
Superb piece of skill from the Irish centre. Not only running forward, but carrying it, carrying it hard and then presenting it well in the end. And this was that score just on the stroke of half time from Bryony Cleal. We mentioned the shift she put in the back row. Just all about the power. And there is a bit of technique in the, as well there, there, isn't there, Marley? Because not only the body position, but the spin at the end to make sure she gets the ball down. Oh, yeah. It, and it's something that Bryony does really well. Both the Cleals do. Um, I think they're up there for top try scorers so far for the Saracens forwards, both of them. So. 12th of the season, that for Bryony. <laughs> She's got over that line, hasn't she? That was that lead into the half but Saracens it's another great ball by McKenna and this is why she was a good player up for my, that man of the match as well she's played phenomenal she's running lines ball handling skills and just looking two tries for Sarah McKenna but that time acting as the distributor coming into the line at fly half and going over for Hannah Casey but Oster Hartbury credit to them always look dangerous with ball in hand and here the power of Tatiana Hurd again it looks very simple, but picking that right line, a real important skill. It's a great line. You can see her stepping into it. In it it's a line that I'd run a lot. But, um, yeah, no, it's a great skill by her. And just, just scanning and seeing that. And she, she's not running at bodies. She's running at those arms. It was a Zoe Harrison penalty, but this is what set up that grandstand finish. Natasha Hunt went close, but then Taz Bricknell just coming around the outside was the one who managed to get over the line. Final score here, of course, then Saracens women taking five points back to North London. And here is a full roundup of round 15. Earlier on in the day, massive win for Loughborough at Furwood Waterloo. Big win as well for Was ladies, a bonus point win, which nudges them just a bit further ahead from fourth. Head of the chasing Gloucester Hartbury. Harlequins ladies, a bonus point win for them against Richmond women. Bristol Bears, a big win against the bottom side, Worcester Valkyries. And of course, the only away win for the season is Saracens women. So a, a look at the league table. Saracens lead four points at the top of it. Harlequins ladies keeping up the chase for those top two spots. Loughborough look well set in third place now and looking good for the playoff spots. And there'll still be a Wasps FC Gloucester Hartbury. It looks as one of those two will have to go into the top four. Let's have a word with our Tyrrells Premier 15's player of the match, who is Saracens women's fly half, Zoe Harrison. Zoe, congratulations uh, on the award. How difficult was it out there uh, today in terms of uh, the Gloucester Hartbury effort? Uh, yeah, they brought a really hard effort to us. Um, we, we struggled a bit, as you can see, but the last the last half we really put it in and we really came out fighting after half time. A lot of distribution for you today in terms of setting up uh, tries. So you're kind of feeling very confident, especially the kind of second half at Harlequins last week. You seem to really grow into the game and, and carry that on this week. Um, yeah, I just think that as a team, we really need to bring it from the off. I mean, it seems to come in the second half for us. And obviously, Gloucester Hartbury really put us under pressure there. So I think as a team, we just need to really start bringing it. Talk to us about your kicking, because you, you nailed some kicks from out wide today. Is that something you've been spending a lot of time on, practising? Uh, yeah, so I've just sort of come back to kicking. Um, so yeah, I have to be uh, spending a lot of time on it at the moment. And what about your, your game as a whole? Are you, are you feeling more confident? Because you, you look like as if you're, you're really enjoying playing. Um, yeah, I feel a bit more confident now coming back from my injuries, but um, there's still a lot to work on. Well, it was your, your teammate for both Saracens and England, Marley Packer, who awarded you the Tyrrells Pro 15's Player of the Match. Uh, Marley, just uh, a, a word for Zoe? Uh, sorry, I think you had a fantastic game today, um, but what back row player did you miss the most out there? Uh, definitely you. Great. <laughs> sorry, Poppy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and so just finally, kind of what's the confidence like over this past couple of weeks? As he came through a massive test against Harlequins last week, that 16-point that deficit, a real big battle here. What's the mood like in the squad? Um, I mean, obviously, as I just said, we bring it in the second half. So I think the mood's not as high as we want it to be. I think we just really got to push it through training um, for the next couple of weeks, especially as we're coming to the end of the season. We really need to push on looking for the playoffs. So, congratulations. Here is uh, your Tyrrells Pro 15's uh, Player of the Match prize. Big bag of Chris for you. Thank I'm sure you can you. share with all your teammates. Congratulations today. Thanks. 
So Harrison, your Tyrrell's Pro 15's player of the match. Yeah, thank you very much to Marley Packer for stepping in for the commentary breach this afternoon. Um, as uh, I'm sure you've uh, have heard, it, very much leaning on Saracens, but uh, lots of praise for Gloucester Harper in there. So thank you for your company. Round 15 action will be with you for round 16 next week. Was FC against Harlequins ladies. A bonus point win here, though, for Saracens in the West Country. We hope you have a very good Saturday afternoon and evening.